I think we are ready to start. Welcome everybody to Warlock Busters, the magic quiz show that you didn't know you wanted. We have three amazing guests today. I'm going to let them introduce themselves so I don't uh, mess it up horribly. Kenji, welcome my friend. Kenji Samura, uh, Pro Tour Hall of Famer. <laughs> I haven't been traveling as much recently in the last few years, but... Uh, Your English you know, has improved amazingly. I still like to play Magic every once in a while, and here, <laughs> here I am today. It's a great honor. Thanks for having me. Uh, Frank Lepore. Uh, it's actually Frank Karsten, also Pro Tour Hall of Famer. <laughs> um, you know, I, I traveled all the way here from... Uh, uh, I, Denmark? Where am I from? I don't even know. And um, <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to do some quiz show action. I love your uh, mathematical works, Doctor. Yeah, I'm real smart, so yeah. Good to I have don't you, like doctor. to talk about it, but I appreciate you bringing it up. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and I'm Ben Rubin, Rubin yeah. Yeah. so Hall of Famer. <laughs> uh, I'm from Los Angeles, California, I believe. Mm -hmm. Fan um, of scarves and uh, playing of slowly scarves but perfectly. And... Playing, 64 you know, card decks. 64 card decks. Yeah, yes. yeah. I'm actually amazed at how perfectly that went. <laughs> that we have three. Uh... Like Hall of Famer doppelgangers? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, me and Kenji live that life all the time, I'm sure. Yeah. It's... Well, it's weird because uh, Kenji is like John in Japan, you know? So the fact that we had yes. just one Kenji in Magic for so long was actually an anomaly. Well, for, like, people actually tweet at me. Uh, Things they want to say, say to Frank Karsten. Really? And then I just retweet Frank, and I'm like, I think this is for you. That's great. It's like great. we get each other's mail. That is great. Oh, no, I messed something up. What did you do? Oh, I lost all your webcams somehow. You better find them. I hit alt on my You better change it. Kenji's cool. Skype portrait is, just kind of freaks me out. Yeah, it's I'm very angry. angry. Well, Frank's back. You guys might just have to turn them back on. Yeah, I clicked mine. I, I, I manually clicked it's mine. It's telling me I need Skype premium. It said that to me too. Oh, so it might have just booted us for that and we'll give it back to us. Okay. Till. Till they do it again. Man, Skype's getting greedy in its old age. Yeah, but now you're all tinted. Tilt. You get that Microsoft money in your pocket. Do I click find out more? Oh, Here. super, super I'll, tint. I'll give them the like $4 or whatever if they just Turn leave on the me alone. Flashlight on my phone. Here we go. Does it make it better or worse? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're dimmed and spooky. Yeah, now you're just like a spooky. now you're just a tinted ghost. <laughs> I've never had this happen before. Yeah, watch they implemented like a, a group video call like a week ago, maybe probably, and they're like, "Oh, sorry, you didn't know." Oh my god, that's so tilting. I, we were just about to get started. I'm clicking on find out more right now. And I'm nothing. trying. Nothing's happening. Yeah, right. Like they want you to find out more and give them. Money, oh, no. you're all bright and back now. Oh, yeah, that's good. I still got. Your stream is dark, so I guess you know that. Probably. Well, let's Oh, just... no, on, on your stream, it's good now. It's good. We're good. All yeah, right. let's, let's just do it. Let's, let's go. just go on with it, and uh, we'll have to reset it <laughs> if they try that again. As long as it's good on your end. Um, so, the thing about this show is that any question can be about any subject having to do with magic. The only clue that you get is the initials are the initials of the answer. So, um... Oh, and also like compound words or something like that. Like I can go either way with it. So pancake could be P or it could be PC. And blueberry pancake could be BP or BBP or BBPC or BPC. Oh my God. This is, I'm already confused and scared. Okay, well, it, if you have the stream open, you can see the board. I know, I, I got it, I'm good, I'm fine. Those are the initials to the answers and then we'll jump around. Uh, and then there's three rounds and yeah, it's three points, four points, and five points, and that's it. Oh, the buzzer. We're using the Facebook chat for buzzer. Last time we used the Skype in, uh, instant message, and it was terrible and laggy, and so we're going to try Facebook instead. Ta-da! Oh, you can't... Oh, yeah. Wait, you can check on press enter the set. I even turned on my Facebook message notes so I could... Or, uh, sounds... So I can like use it as a buzzer. I haven't heard that sound in like four years. The, and, oh. and everybody that's watching this is gonna keep like thinking that they're getting messages. Nope. Nobody wants to talk to you. We're just doing a quiz show. Right. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and we will start 
with DB on the first board. We ready? Let's do this. All right. Oh, uh, to buzz in, just so for DB, you'll just type DB. That way I know you're buzzing for this one and not okay. like the last one. Oh, all right. So yeah, type the initials of whatever we're buzzing for. Yes. Yeah, sounds good. DB, ready, go. This DB means detracting or taking away from success or value. Used in magic to describe a negative ability to balance power. Ooh, Steve. Uh, debilitate? No. Uh, Frank. Debuff? No. Mm. Negative ability used to balance powerful cards. Kenji, you got an answer? No. Not yet. Can I buzz in again? Because I just did. No. Oh, that's real sad. Yeah, if you get it wrong, so then once we up. get it wrong, we're just out. Oh, okay. So just for that one question. Could you, could you say it one more time? Uh, yes. This DB means detracting or taking away from success or value. Used in magic to describe a negative ability used to balance powerful cards. Debuff. <laughs> no. It is drawback. Yeah. Oh, dra oh, drawback. Dang it. We're bad. I wish I yeah, just waited bad. like two seconds because I knew it. Yeah, guys, yeah, I mean, because debuff, guess. debuff is I guess totally that's part of it. You know, if you go early, then you don't get the whole question. Exactly, oh, yeah, exactly. Plus, the questions are written. The I'm questions are written in a way chat. where like the front side of it is kind of obfuscated, and then it gets more and more obvious as the clue it's goes pretty on. Pretty sick how we had reasonable guesses. No, totally, debuff is a good guess, but that's not what we call it in Magic. We call it a drawback. I, mean, I call it that all the time. I'm like, I need to debuff your your. Creator. Yeah, if if you hear somebody call it a debuff, you know they came from D and D and not. You know, Pokemon or something. <laughs> <laughs> or like Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know what they use debuff in, I'm going to be honest. I, th I think that's where it comes from. Chat wrecked us. Maybe that'll be a few. Yeah, the, the chat's always way better at this than the contestants or even myself. Are we supposed to have chat up or no? No, no I, you, probably I not since it's pretty much cheating, but I'm not going to okay. I'm not gonna tell you guys to close it. If you, if you close chat and just bring up. But the, the only way I can see the board is on the stream, right? Yeah. Correct. That, okay. So I'll, I'll just have it like this. All right, we'll just move to C then. This C was not some Britpunks, but might be known as Joust to some. I always... Steve. Clash. Correct. I always called it Scrying with Style. This lore win ability is glorified game of high card. Uh, Steve, you have choice of the board. So the, so the board, like, you just ha try to get... How does the board work? You try to get... You're just trying to get as many as you can. In normal, okay. in um, uh, blockbusters, like you're trying to go to one end or the other, but I do three contestants instead of two, and so I just All right, I'll stole go their G format the... without actually doing the fun part of it. Which one do you want? T. T. Get that letter queued up in chat already. Yeah. <laughs> I saw us typing earlier. <laughs> this T is a vigilante who fell at Needle's Eye at the hands of Withengar, a pretty glorious death for a priest. Now he haunts control players alongside his guardian angel. Frank. Traft? Correct. Oh, Boom. Geist of St. Traft, all right, well then, then I see you. Frank, you I have the board. You. I see you. Oh, um, let's go MR. MR. This MR got his start in The Duelist and Magic the Puzzling, an early advocate of the Pro Tour, Steve. Mark Rosewater? Correct, and feature oh matches God. and creator of player typographs. He is the long-standing head designer of Magic. Like anyone knows who that even is. <laughs> Dude, I ran into him at Fred Meyer like two days ago, and I made, like, I, it was super awkward. And I, Please I, tell the story. I, the tweet was really good. I, well, he, he was like on his phone with his wife and he was picking up sprinkles or something. And I was like, and he was like, yeah, this one's blue. I don't know if we should get him. And I'm like, counterspell blue? And he kind of just looked at me. Like, I, don't, I don't think my wife would know what that is. And then he turned around. And I'm like, oh, whoa. Eh? I bet you, I bet it? I'm familiar with the thing that you do. Huh? <laughs> All right, you know, I'll like go with uh, TN. T I think N. you put purple instead of red. Am I red? You are. Good call. Wow, look at you. Oh, I got a free point there. Look at you. Gonna... You tried to. Wait, this is three points, right? Three yeah, these points. are three points each. Good call. My bad. Uh, TN. This TN is known for their unique use of gouache 
which is a fancy word for layered opaque watercolors. Her first commission for it. Oh, damn. Steve. Therese Nielsen? Correct. Dang. For a fiery red spell, ended up her most iconic work, despite ending up as blue counter magic. Man, Ben Rubin's crushing us. I know. God. <laughs> He's been around for a I've while. Been around a long time. I don't know these English words very well. You know, it's it's hard. <laughs> Rubin has the board. Go. Is that J? Oh no, wait. L. L. A. L. A. Yeah, the. I like this typeface a lot, but a couple of them, like the G's and sixes, are just the same. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's only so many options, right? Yeah. And eight and B, I guess, are the same probably too. Yeah. Um, all right. L.A. Brubeck knows this L.A. can sweep away your foes like a broom, break your sternum, and pierce mages' hearts straight through to their soul. Catch. Frank. What? Lava Oh, I think Kenji did get it yeah, first. Yeah, it's totally Lava X. Oh, Kenji did get it first. It is Lava X. Dang it. Uh, the catch was really the, the giveaway there. Yeah. yeah. Well, those are all, just all of the flavor texts. <laughs> so you're like, you're like, all right, they're not gonna get it. Catch. Yeah, catch is the. That's your last clue. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. All right, Kenji, you're bored. Let's go with D pitchfork. DM. <laughs> DM. Azor the first created the centerpiece for this DM. And it was decided on the promenade, promenade that one delegated champion each would run the race. The winner gets the prize for their guild, as decreed by Niv Mizet. Oh shoot, no. Frank er Kenji. No, no, I, I Frank. I got nothing. Dragon's maze. Correct. The dragon's maze. Man, I'm surprised you didn't get that. Well, I, I, I don't know where I was going with that. What, what? What were you thinking? Yeah, go walk us through your process. That, no, there was no process. There was like, I, I heard a specific word, and then I'm like, wait, I just need to type it because somebody else is going to get it, but I didn't actually have anything. <laughs> you know? Oh, the preemptive you buzz. Just type all the time. <laughs> Gets you to buzz early. I almost gave it to. Oh, I just want to reserve the first answer, so I'm going to hit it now. <laughs> it's purple, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Frank, you're bored. Uh, let's go with SB. Mm hmm, mm hmm. This SB is about exchanging specific resources aggressively. Uh, what, Kenji? Shoot, no, Fro uh, Frank. Oh, 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 yes. I think I think he's gonna say what I was gonna say, but it's wrong. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna say sideboard. No. See, that's I what I was going with oh. too. Shoot. Oh, no. Kenji, you want to throw out a guess since you buzzed? Uh, I, I this has to, I have to guess right because I'm. Yes. Gonna, yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Changing uh, resources specifically, is, is that as far as you got? Spe exchanging specific resources aggressively. This is nope, seven. I got nothing. Alright, Steve, That's you get the rest of the question by your lonesome. A natural strategy that was kicked into high gear with the printing of Exodus. Like Donkey Kong in Super Smash Bros, you only have to be up by one to close the door with a five mana black pump spell. Am I allowed to get the question again, or that's it? I'll read it to you one more time. Oh, I think okay. I know what it is now. This SB is about exchanging specific resources aggressively, a natural strategy that was kicked into high gear with the printing of Exodus. Like Donkey Kong and Super Smash Bros, you only have to be up by one to close the door with a five mana black pump spell. Come on, you got this. And nope. yeah, the only five mana amount of black pump spell I know is hatred. But that's what I was thinking. But I don't understand. I was, gonna, from... I was thinking it was Sinbad when you said. All Strange right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it out of time. Sinbad. The answer suicide is suicide black. Suey black or suicide black. Oh, okay. Hey, I see. Carnivages and stuff. Yes. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Okay. Uh, who who won the last one? Frank did, right? Mm -hmm. You have the board still. Let's go with A R. A R. Assault rifle. Too soon. Too, it's always gonna be too soon. <laughs> this AR has been forgotten in modern interpretations thanks to a cartoon rug, but remained a core sta corset staple from its time as a mono artifact all the way through oh, ninth. Kenji. Aladdin's ring? 
Correct. 16 yeah. mana sure is a lot to pay for 4 damage. <laughs> nah, don't. that's a good deal. <laughs> a bargain at any rate. You're bored, Kenji. Uh, H-O. This H-O from LRR rings nostalgic for Kai, but Hydro, not Pyro, is effective against this act of altruistic generosity. With such an adorable face, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, what's, what's that? God. Five, four, three. I got it. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Kenji. Harmless offering. Correct. That's the, oh, that's, that's the new, new spoil one. comes Yeah, oh, sneaky, so sneaky. New. It's like the teddy bear down the thing. Uh, would you like P or D? Uh, Kenji, oh, which do you like two? more, the P or the D? <laughs> I can't. Some do. might say they're the same. <laughs> I, can't do, I can't do DB. No, that was the first. That was drawback. You guys didn't get that one or SP. Oh, oh the two green ones. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do D. We should have a gray color for the ones that are not yeah, available. Yeah, I'm too lazy. People said that like, about after the last one, and I just <laughs> forgot to like, do it. I don't care. I'll do yeah. what I want. Um, this D is known as the Wheel, and is the nexus of the multiverse. It has undergone Dragon Wars, the rise and fall of the Thran Empire, a golden age of... Frank. Dominaria. Correct. Golden Age of Magic, a 36-year war, a fall into darkness, a massive ice age, and much, much more included being invaded by Phyrexians and massive time rift distortions. Your board. Uh, P's the only one left, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll go there, then. I choose you, P. Oh, is it, I think it's 3-3-3 three, three, three right now across the yeah, board. It's, yeah, it's a three-way oh. I, I haven't this thought of one. I haven't even figured out one in, like... Several. So I'm feeling <laughs> well, pretty bad about this movie. Then you'll forward. then you'll love to hear that this is the easy board, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the next two are progressively harder. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this P means two different things in the UK and US, thanks to difference in sport. But in Magic, it doesn't mean having a go or giving up, but rather making a crucial mistake. Kenji, punt. how appropriate that Kenji gets <laughs> punt. Oops. All right. And I will tally the scores. It is 9-9-12. Nine, nine, right. Very nice. Very close. Neck and neck. I'm going to give it to you, but I did I did hit that P first. <clears throat> just, so, just so you know. Oh, he did. No, he did. Oh, snap. You're right. <sighs> That's the uh, the unfortunate part of the internet. No, I got you. You, you would have gotten it. That's totally an F-ball. I'll get the hard ones instead. Well, I, li I like how, like, I made it be Facebook so that we didn't have confusion over the thing, and then I've already messed it up twice. <laughs> that was really impressive. I think it just, it's, sometimes messages, I don't know, it looks weird. Sometimes I think they just come in at different times. But then, well, like, I, I think, AJ, what you should do is you should, after the, after the winner gets theirs, type in something, so, because Frank's... Oh, to clear the line? Yeah, yeah that's a yeah, good yeah, call. Yeah, right? You're such a genius. Um, i this guy. Time for the second board. Let me clean clean this one up. A little housekeeping. Housekeeping? You want mint for a pillow? <laughs> Please don't fluff my pillow, Frank. <laughs> like you wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> hey, you got it. All right. Uh, Frank, it is your board, and the question mark one is just the same as the other one, but you don't get the initial. Wait, what now? There's a question mark on the second board. Oh, okay. It didn't. It didn't pop yet. Okay. It's now yeah. It's, it's the same, but you yeah. just don't get any clue. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, let's go with WD. WD. Let me do this. All right, WD. Celtic cross, hand, skull and crossbones, pointer finger, thumbs down, hand, skull and crossbones, pointer finger, water drop. This WD was coined by Jeff Cunningham as slang for the new colorless mana symbol, so named after the typeface of glyphs and symbols. God, I read his tweet too. What was it? 
Ugh. Five, four, three, two, one. Wiggly Doodle. I don't know. Not Wiggly Doodle. <laughs> Either of you guys Plus. have guess? Do you have a guess? No? I assume the D's a diamond, but that's all I got. Okay, time up. It is Windings. Windings. Oh, oh my god. Mm. Frank stole your board. For some reason I was locked in on it being two words. I just missed it. Yeah, T sneaky. Sneaky. Uh, let's go NR. The reserved list doesn't apply to color shifts to the rejoicing of modern players. This NR is part of the legacy, ironically, both in its function and because it is primarily a vintage card. Gerard is unconvinced of its power, but Hannah famously informs him that it does nothing. No rod. Yes. Ugh. Real mature. <laughs> Oops. You know, it's not doing anything. <laughs> the other two guys right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, it's been a while. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Kenji, you're bored. Uh, let's let's get that question mark. I want to see that. Okay. Or hear it, question I guess. Question mark. Make clear. This player won his first Grand Prix Top 8 as well as his first Nationals Top 8, but still chases an elevated title. Having the worst win rate at the Players' Championships and four PT Top 8s in three years, Steve. Li Shi Tian? Correct, Li Shi Chan. It, it, uh, four PT Top 8s in three years, but no wins. Hong Kong local and Umbrella Revolution protester who put Blue Moon on the map. I like a Li Shi Tian. I he just, is. It was actually when you said that the worst win rate or something, because I knew from your your like AJ. Yeah, the world's rate. video. <laughs> yeah, that's how I knew that. <laughs> so you have to. I guess this is not the first time you've mentioned AJ's that. Content. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you want to do well on my quiz, you have to watch everything I produce. Uh, Steve, you're bored. Ooh, I hit a board? Wow. Yeah. This feels good. I'll go with T. Bad Black Blue Plow. This T disregarded conventional color distribution in the name of tone and flavor. The 25th Magic Expansion. This is where we first saw the discarding mechanic recently revisited in Shadows Over Innistrad. Frank. Torment. Correct. Oh, I see. I see. I get you now. A little double, oh, double meaning there. This is a madness question. Wait, but Torment is not a black-blue card, is it? No. Oh. It is a black-blue yeah. plow. Oh, oh, I it see. It is a black blue sensory deprivation. I see, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. The beginning of the clues are like really obfuscated and weird. Yeah, you definitely like get a lot more clear toward the end of the clue, which is, I, I think it's great the way you're wording them. Thank mm, you. No, it's good this way. I worked quite hard on them. Yeah, I can tell. Like, they're awesome. They're, they're very well done. Oh, thank you, thank you. Frank, you're bored. Uh, let's. I'm like trying to avoid SS because it's kind of weird. <laughs> 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 um, let's go EG. <laughs> E.G. This E.G. is most associated with Bertrand Lestrie for his second place finish at Pro Tour 1996 with this Chronicles-fueled archetype. Turns out Forest Walk isn't a big deal when no one has any lands. Frank. Ernam Giddon. Correct. Oh. Woo. Damn. Very nice. nice. Very nice. Very nice. I was thinking Ernum Jin. I'm like, is he, is he saying Jin with a G? Right, like, right. Oh, no, no, just, just, just talking about the archetype. Uh, still your board. Let's go WD. Did we do WD? I think I no think one got that's it. That's Wingdings, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, let's go SS then. All right, he's steering into the storm. Is that a clue? No. Okay. <laughs> S, oh, this SS was the one-outer that gave Godenis Vidigeris his first GP win over Co Steve. Sudden shock? No. Ooh, ooh. His first GP win over Conley Woods in, in Tampa 09. An original Zendikar printing of a cycle repeated in battle with entries such as Fertile Thicket and Looming Spires. This grants a creature flying until end of turn. What? Oh, I don't know the name. I'm so confused. 
Can you repeat it, please? This SS was the one outer that gave Godenis Vitigaris his first GP win over Conley Woods in Tampa 09, an original Zendikar printing of a cycle repeated in battle with entries such as Fertile Thicket and Looming Spires. This grants a creature flying until end of turn. Oh, shoot. Frank. Uh, it's the... I, no, I, I thought I had it, but I don't. Kenji? S Skyline Cascade. No! Soaring Sea Cliff. Oh, the old one! Oh, no! Yes, it's... Yeah, oh, it was the no. old Zendikar one. I couldn't <laughs> think of the name. <laughs> uh, Frank stole your board. Yeah, I think we all oh. knew what it did, but we weren't... Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> like, it's a basic common Tip land. of your tongue. Uh, ID. Mm. Let me clear... This ID has only two Pro Tour appearances, first in Berlin and then Amsterdam. But this lead developer of Oath of the Gatewatch is not the pro of the family. Brink. Ian Duke. Correct. They sure make some good old boys in Sugarloaf, <laughs> New York. <laughs> and still your board. Let's go R, I guess. This R is artificially constructed in stormy skies as a launching point for the Phyrexian invasion of Dominaria through the planar void known as Kenji. Oh, shoot. Arathai. No. Dominaria through the planar void known as the Shadows. The stronghold where the Evancars preside hangs over a fiery lake known as its furnace. Oh, God. Frank. Wrath? Correct. The Wrath, you are the people of Wrath. Right, right, yeah. What do we have left? C, A, F? Yes. Let's go, let's go F. Uh, right now? We're doing a show. <laughs> That's extremely inappropriate. <laughs> I swear I didn't even set that joke up <laughs> to have the F. As, that's green a, screen has many uses. Guys. And yeah, it's prompt. <laughs> yeah, we, we both have green screens. We could be anywhere together. Overlapping, Frank. We could be on the beach right now. <laughs> I know, right? All right. They're both, they're both just on opposite sides of that screen. <laughs> AJ's like right behind me. <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite questions I've ever written. Oh, I like it. This onomatopoeic F comes from Middle English, meaning to fart, which I suppose is why it never became the official nomenclature in Magic, but remains slang for when a spell or ability is countered upon resolution, Kenji. Fizzle. Fizzle. Yes. Countered upon resolution due to an illegal target. So close. That was very close. At least close. I'm thinking of them now and not just completely breaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you just have to just get not, your gears going. Not fast enough, yeah. You have to assume you're going to know it in the next, like, word and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the very delay true. is just long enough to get it. Uh, Kenji, you're bored. You have uh, A and C. Let's go with C. Man, I had A written. I had a 50-50 on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not the serial killer. No wonder this guy goes by C. Spanning Mirage to Gate Crash, they remain a fan favorite thanks to iconic cards such as Grim Monolith. Frank. Chromax? No. Oh. Grim Monolith, Gataxian Probe, and Lotus Cobra, as well as one of the weirdest Kenji. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's like, I feel like every time you hit it, it's a mistake. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I did it again. Grim Monolith, Lotus, uh, Lotus Cobra. Correct. Gonna have to prompt you for an answer. Uh, car, uh, it's Shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm dead. Rest of the question for you, Steve. Lotus Cobra, as well as one of the weirdest of all time in Plague Spitter. Not many artists go by a single name. Oh, there. Oh. Yep. All right. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Brutal. Yep. Think, no idea? No, I'm not going to get it. All right. Chippy <laughs> is the answer. Chippy. I think Steve gets most of the full questions. <laughs> yeah, because you guys are aggro and I love it. <laughs> Until the end, we, we, we had no point. idea it was an artist, you know? So yeah. it was just like, oh, we gotta get whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. I get um, the ones that are about pros, and then I lose everyone about the art. Actually, I got Therese Nielsen. That was yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You did. I like very, when we well buzz done. in, and we, I, like, I say Krovax, and AJ's head, he's probably like, 
No, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> At least you had an answer. Um, I also just realized we have A and T A left, uh, and oh. I need to turn on a light because the sun went down. Uh, T A. All right. Um, whose board was it? T A. T A. Kenji has T A. Thank you, chat, for pointing out we hadn't done TA. This TA is a green-white intro pack, and its titular mechanic, one of many attempted solutions for an inherent gameplay problem. It's a faux auto-regeneration designed to help mitigate the risk of being two for one by having the enchanted creature be killed. Frank. Totem armor. Correct. Ooh. Mm. All right, all right. I don't think I would have gotten that. And Magic's the, this is, it's it's weird thinking like this is like twenty like plus years of magic history. Right? <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Like that's I, I, what I did was I wrote like um, so it's three rounds of twelve, and I wrote like fifty questions, and then just selected randomly out of them. Oh, Skype did that thing again. How's it, man? Skype's got a real problem. Our, our video. Oh, okay. Skype's being real sassy, a real sass bag. Kenji's back. Frank's loading. Back. Steve's looking like a PT champ. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back. And the last on the board is A. This A is Latin for sand, used for its blood absorbing qualities. Initially a promo, a precursor to fight being keyworded. Later time shifted despite lands being required to ma- Frank. Arena. Correct. Later ah. time shifted despite lands being required to make mana nowadays. And... Ooh, I think Frank killed us. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Good board for Frank. 4, oh, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 12 is 36. The aggressively buzzing strategy is just paying off. <laughs> <laughs> just reaping the well, rewards. Well, a few times he missed, and then me and Kenji both missed after. So, like, <laughs> that, that was okay, too. I like, I like when Kenji aggressively buzzes, and he's like, oh, darn it, I actually didn't you keep didn't forcing have... Kenji to buzz, and then he's just, like, doesn't know the whole Yeah, it's an arms game. race. And I'm just not deep enough into uh, magic art history <laughs> to punish you for it. Oh man, chat pointing out I also forgot to update the round number. I am the worst. What is this, amateur hour? I can only apologize. <laughs> so that was round two, and now well, we're on. I was saying before that I was assuming that Frank was going to be good. But... It's round three. Yeah, you did mention that, but I actually had no, like, faith, faith beforehand. I wasn't like, yeah. oh yeah, I'm going to crush it. I was just like... Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Depends what yeah, the questions no are idea. and if I get them right. Yeah, I mean, I, I was unsure for me myself as well. But... Just, just give me, just give me flavor text of cards. I, I can do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you will dominate at least me. I don't know. About yeah, that's the other thing is like when I wrote like fifty questions and then selected a bunch. Like when I was running the questions, I tried to get a good spread of like you know artists and players and cards and sets and all that. But then when I was like selecting them, I didn't necessarily balance them. So there could be, you know, a bunch of one subject on a board. Uh, I'm not sure. But I think they've been good. The last I mean, obviously they're favoring me. As they're <laughs> oh, they've been stuff. really good. I'm crushing, so obviously good job. Uh no, the third board is uh yours to start, Frank. Let's go BR. <laughs> Also, does Kenji have 17? Because that's a... How did we get... 3-3-3-4-4. Three, 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 four, four. Oh, because the second round is 4 points. Yes, and this one's oh, 5 each. Oh, th that's much different. Yes. It's a game show. you got to have some sort of like rubber you band mechanic. Yeah. you got to have an escalation of some sort. Yeah. Um, I already forgot which one you said. Oh, BR. B okay. BR, yep. This BR has won its fair share of games, but is still considered casual by many. Timmy and Johnny are big fans, and even spikes such as Mike Flores have dabbled. Do you think Kamal would be upset if he knew this sorcery was banned in Commander? Oh, oh shh. Kenji. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, it's like, 
Burning, oh, sh burning rage. No, either of the other two have guesses. I don't actually. What's a span sign? Book. Can we get the question again, or now is that is it too late? I'll read it. I'll read it quickly. This BR has won its fair share of games, but is still considered casual by many. Timmy and Johnny are big fans, and even spikes such as Mike Flores have dabbled. Do you think Kamal would be upset if he knew this sorcery was banned in Commander? Frank. Is it Berserk? No. That's an instant. Oh, you're right, and it's it's BWBS, not BR. Yes. Right. Ruben? Five, um, three, two... I'm gonna guess, and probably be wrong, Obliterate. No. Biorhythm. Ah, it's oh, oh, man, it's way off. That's right. What's that one red card where it's like Kamal and you can pay six life or destroy all creatures or something? Oh, yeah. The, all those Punisher cards have yeah. Kamal talking shit. I'm assuming the letter, it always starts with the letter, even in the hard way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. I pretty much knew I was wrong. So when you said a blitter, I was like, I could think. Yeah. He's really, he's really going off the rails here. Well, that was the only thing I could think of. Yeah, I mean, you might as well throw throw in a guess. Maybe I'm dyslexic. You don't know. That's true. You could have been like, fell to Griff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frank, you're bored. Let's go PF. <laughs> exactly. No, that's the answer. I gave it away. Okay. <laughs> All right, pick again. <laughs> Uh, let me clear. Not MacGyver's. This PF has an unbelievable three Pro Tour Day 3s in three years, winning the first two as well as a Masters Championship in between. Disbanding and stepping away from the game shortly thereafter, this German machine put two of three into the Hall of Fame. I'm ashamed of all of you right now. Oh my god. Really ashamed of all of you. Not MacGyver's. This PF has an unbelievable three Pro Tour Day 3s in three years, winning the first two as well as a Masters Championship in between. Disbanding and stepping away from the game shortly thereafter, this German machine put two of three into the Hall of Fame. I'm going to call it. It is the Phoenix Foundation. Mm. Oh. oh, okay. I was thinking of somebody. I, I'll oh, give. I knew it was the team that Kai was on, but I just didn't. I just couldn't figure out what it was called. Yep. Like Kai, time. Dirk, and do you know the third? Bonus point to whoever knows their third. That is not in the hall. I don't. Mm. Marco Bloom. <laughs> the illustrious Marco Bloom. See, this is the hard board. You guys like missed this three in a row. Hard, yeah, this is definitely the hard board. This is, this is hurt. I am ashamed of you though for not getting Phoenix. Yeah, I was, I was pretty close. <laughs> Just to be clear, there's one of three here. These are hard, but you're also dumb. We're not. Sure. <laughs> uh, Frank, still. Let's go, GL. All right. Preceded by Lauren Greenwood, this GL came from head of Hasbro International Marketing and Brand Management. Frank. Greg Leeds. Correct. To Watsi in 2008 as president and CEO, where he remained until earlier this year. Mm. All right, my goal is to get one on this board. <laughs> Frank, your choice. Let's go KW. This KW comes from 2000 AD, and Warhammer, as well as Judge Dredd, is responsible for Gruel and Stormpike Commando, and has over 360 magic pieces since his start in... Frank. Kev Walker. Correct. 360 magic pieces since his start in Mirage, making him the most prolific artist in the game's history. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> I didn't find out until I was writing this question that he um, he did Gruel and Stormpike Commando for Hearthstone. Pretty interesting. I, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know he did that either. Actually. Well, now you do, and no, do. it's still your board. This is a learning experience. Let's go S H. This S H was. Pr oh wait, let me clear. This S H was printed in two thousand four on a creature with art by Franz Vollwinkel, featuring Akroma and Kamal, and laid the groundwork for a cycle way in the future, future sight to be exact. The play now, pay later mechanic of Pats actually comes from this joke ability on a jet-packed mollusk. Uh, uh, 
question again? <laughs> Perhaps? This SH was printed in 2004 on a creature with art by Franz Vowinkel, featuring Akroma and Kamal, and laid the groundwork for a cycle way in the future. Future sight, to be exact. The play now, pay later mechanic of packs actually came from this joke ability on a jetpacked mollusk. <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming it's an unhinged or unglued card, but I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call it. It's super haste. <laughs> okay. My of God. Course, of course it is. Rocket Power Turbo Slugs, Super Haste. Everybody's favorite mechanic. Did anybody in chat get that one? Oh yeah, they got it real fast. Really? Real fast. God. You guys are animals. Yep, they really are. They're insane. They're honestly very impressive every time. Um, Frank's still your board. Let's go RA. If you guys are going to miss this many, I am going to have to make a graphic for dead squares. Because, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just like hoping I didn't go over the same one. I <laughs> This RA was the first Planeswalker, illustrated by Heather Hudson. This five mana card was initially printed in Legends. This white card was printed in Master's Edition, also at Common. Not the most impressive body at 3-1, even with the odd hit or miss evasion. I feel like some of somebody should have gotten it. What? Okay, go say it again. One more time. Yeah. This RA was the first Planeswalker, illustrated by oh, Heather shit. Hudson. This five mana card was initially printed in Legends. This oh. white card was printed in Masters Edition, also at Common. Not the most impressive body at three one, even with the odd hit or miss evasion. Oh, God, I get this on Momir all the time. Five, four, three, two, one. Kenji. Restless Avengers? Something Avengers. Righteous Avengers. Ugh. I'll give you half credit. Uh, I'll give you two fine. points for that. It is Righteous uh, Avengers. Damn. Get Planeswalker. You guys, play he walks on planes. Oh, I see what you did there. If you have a planes, you can't block it. It's a Planeswalker. I, I don't think it's in ME4. It's, M it's in ME1. It's M M yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just saying I don't really know any of like the random draft comments from not ME4. Oh, you didn't? I don't either, actually. You don't know all of the legends? Uh... I know some of the cards because they were probably... <laughs> you, know. you can't name them for us is what you're saying? <laughs> just to be clear, you are saying you don't know them. Okay. Uh, Kenji, I'll give you the board, too, because Frank is just a ball hog at this point. I didn't want to be. I, I'd rather have someone... <laughs> what, what's left? I think we've done all, most of the two-letter ones, right? Yeah, there's there S E T C F. Oh, you S E T C F are all the ones left. Yes. Okay. Uh, you let's don't have do like a gray square you can cover these with, right? Let's do E. I I, I do, but it's um, it's a hassle. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Next time, episode three, I'll have them. I promise. Uh, sorry, Kenji. Which one do you want? E. Right. This E is one of only three cards to be printed in all three portals and Starter 99. Hyperbolically, a time walk for only three mana. I suppose untapping can be quite frank. Exhaustion? Correct. I suppose untapping can be quite tiresome. I was like, temporal manipulation? <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> Uh, would you like S, E, or S, T, C, or F? Let's go C. Did we do G? What was G? Uh, I don't, we're probably something we got wrong. Mm. I don't think we did G. I don't think you did either. So you have S, T, C, F, or G. Any of yeah, the one I, letters. I feel like I deliberately went for the two letters at first. Yeah, get those out of the way. Which one do you want? Uh, let's go, what did I say, C? Yeah, C. C. This C is Steampunk Incarnate, historically indicated by counters, which were phased out of the game, plus one, plus O. Oh. Now these magic machinations are represented as being fueled and powered by plus one, plus Frank. Clockwork? Correct, by plus Ooh, one, plus great. one counters. Frank cutting it up. STF or G? Let's go, let's go T. You like how that's C and not CW? Sneaky, sneaky! <laughs> You're a real trickster. Just mixing it up on you. 
All I was right. going to say constructs, but I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, I was hoping somebody would just buzz in after Steampunk Incarnate and be like, yeah. constructs. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're pretty tricky on this. I'm ah, gonna, sneaky. Give it to uh, T, all right. This T is also a power gamer. A fix. Kenji. Timmy. Oh. No. Fuck. A fix <laughs> to Mero's player psychographs to try and include female players in the player profiles. Frank. Tammy. Correct. So I get for not listening to the whole thing. <laughs> you got so you got so hasty there. You got like, super this hasty. This T is hasty. also I tried to emphasize that the, I tried to emphasize the also. This T is also a power gamer. <laughs> uh S or G, my friend. Let's go S. This S is the name of the cataclysmic event that split Alara into the five shards we know. Oh, shit. Kenji. Uh. <laughs> I skip. I lose. It's also shared as the descriptor <laughs> of the titanic event of destroying a land of each basic land type. This S is the name of the... Frank. Sundering? Correct. It is the Sundering and Sundering Titan. <laughs> I, I have no comments. I feel like I we're no watching comments. you fall apart here. <laughs> the wheels are falling off as we speak. Uh, G is the last one, right? Or no, F and G. Let's go G. This G is how we'll deal with the legend rule in the future, supercharging the one in play by discarding the excess copies of it. Frank. Oh, what's it called? I, I pulled a Kenji here. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'll tell you, it starts with a G. Grandios. No. Andrew. Ah. Either of you guys have guess? Oh, Steve's guess. Steve? Grand. Do you Granger? Have... Yes, Grandeur. Grandeur. Okay. I didn't hear you, sorry. So close. Grandeur. Frank, Frank for the record, said it on accident, but I, I actually knew. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I actually knew it. It's <laughs> on, like, Corlash and then that cycle of cards. Yeah. The red one. Can you name them all? Um, Blue one starts with an L, or no? That's probably wrong. Well, it's like it's like Lanessa or something. Yes, Lanessa. The green one is... Uh, the green one's it's the one I always forget. Croso, or is it like gay? Um... <laughs> I don't, the red know. One is... I don't know. I can't. Na the answer is no. I can't name. The it. red one is Terox Bladewing. I remember that. Ooh, right. And the um, the white one was uh, okay. uh, uh, uh the the healer, semi healer, or or, uh, Orum. No wait, Orum was from Tempest Block. It, I oh, think sorry. it was. It, it's Future Sight. It's like the, all, they're all from all over the place. Kenji, are you saying you don't think a card can be from two different sets? I don't know. I Baru don't know. Fist like of Krosa is the green one. Is it like Oris or something? No, it's I think, I'm fairly certain it's Orum. It might be Oris. Yeah, I thought it was like a, a relative of Orum. Yeah, you know, I gave you that impression that it was like, it's a, like similar but different. Yeah, yeah well, because its ability was just chain. It's Granger ability, I think. All right, nothing. Is there an available? It's just F, right? Yep, just F. Okay. You finally get the board and you don't even get to make a choice. But you fulfilled your goal of getting one on the final board. Yep. High five! Woo! We got one! I feel so much better than I, than I did before I had one. <laughs> Alright, the last question is an F. The Da Vinci Code meets Da Vinci on this F. Or perhaps Game of Thrones in Shakespearean times? This is the birthplace of two planeswalkers. The... Steve... Fiora? Correct. Very impressive. The, the only goblin planeswalker to ready, or perhaps Remember more famously... I read all the planes <laughs> Or perhaps more famously, <laughs> the greatest thief in the multiverse, Dak wow. Faden. It is Fiora. Very well played. I would have never gotten that. That was the one that when I wrote it, I was like, nobody's going to get this. <laughs> oh my god. It's... Study, baby. Steve mentioned that he studied for 30 minutes before Jeez, this. Jeez, so... he did. And you, you can see the spoils. He, he beat me by one point, I think. No, yeah, well, he beat you, yeah, by one point. <laughs> That's sick.
Frank, we don't talk you about got, you. You gotta dude. study for 31 minutes. Next time. <laughs> you guys fight amongst yourselves. <laughs> good job, Frank. No, seriously. Not, not good game. Good game. No, Frank, yeah. GG's. I and had no idea that I was gonna know these things, so. Frank, with a Sam Black esque <laughs> demolishing of the board, oh, is our winner. Sam won last time? Oh, he crushed last he cr time. Yeah, I was just gonna say, he must who were Sam, Who were Sam's opponents? Uh, Gindy and Greg Hatch. And okay. I would, Hatch would be good, but like when I was I was streaming and first pitching this idea, I was like, well, I can never have either exactly Chapin or exactly Sam Black on because just they won't have they don't have peers. Yeah, that makes sense. I yeah, guess. and then the first episode, I'm like, hey Sam, you want to do this thing? He's like, yeah, obviously, and then just runs away with it. <laughs> <laughs> so it seemed to work. I mean, you, you seemed to know what you were talking about then. <laughs> yeah. It was, so now I'm like, well just waiting to find like uh the next superstar so that i can have the the star-studded lineup of sam versus patrick versus you know whoever else can like break a hundred or whatever oh that would be that seems maybe we we'll just maybe you just have them play heads up that's that would be fun maybe that would be fun anyway thank you guys so much for yeah, doing this, this. Awesome. uh yeah no i'm sure you put a lot of work into the questions i mean yeah it's only, only 40 minutes of, like, tape or whatever, but I'm sure it took you hours, so I, I, I had fun. Thank yeah, you, yes. The questions yes. are impressive, like... Thank you. You're not wrong. It took a lot of time, but they're also, like, super fun, so... <laughs> yeah, as long as you're enjoying it, then that's awesome. But like, Yeah, exactly. The way they scaled up from, like, kind of clues to, like, almost almost giving it away a little bit, you know, it's just very, very sweet. Well, thank you. Yes, I, I, I did work quite hard on them, and I am hoping that, like... They are of interest enough that I can like keep making these because I genuinely have a lot of fun with them. Plus, I get to make fun of and talk to my friends that get to do my quiz. <laughs> oh, also, I mean, I don't want to say it just because I won, but like after episode three, you should have uh, an episode with like the three reigning champs. That is the plan. Um, oh, that'd be sweet then. Yeah, because some people were like, well, you, like Sam is going to have to be on the next episode. Because he won this one, and I was like, no, we're just going to do, like, a champion of champions at the end, because if I just had the winner stay, Sam would, you know, he'd have to clear his schedule for me, and that's not fair. Yeah. Um, but anyway, this is the special Newmont Gaming episode. Uh, I forgot to say that earlier, but all four of us... <laughs> There's a logo by my face. Yes, yeah. right by Steve Rubin's Am face. Am I pointing the right way? Please tell me no, I'm pointing the wrong way. No, you're pointing way. right at Frank. <laughs> You idiot. The logo's there's right Frank. here. <laughs> there's Frank, and there's it's the logo. Frank, you know? it's, it's... <laughs> well, it's also like in the Skype Wait, call, it goes... I reach my hand off screen, and then Frank can like... Oh, yeah, and then reach Green screen here, into his. My arms, I can like strangle Kenji. <laughs> this is like some mostly walking... Uh, uh, Inception shit. It's also like on, on Skype, you're it's Steve, Kenji, Frank, but then on my thing, it's Kenji, Frank, Steve. Yeah, so it looks completely different. Yeah, that messed with my head a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, all four of us made content for NewmontGaming.com, and it is an amazing website that you should all go to every single freaking day because we're great, and we're not even everybody. There's like four more guys that do stuff for us. So We're not even everybody. Yeah, we're not even everybody. We're That's just right. the important ones. <laughs> He's not wrong. Uh, thank you guys so much, and thank you all for watching. Have a good night, everybody. Take it easy, guys. All right. Thank you all. That was seriously fun. Especially because those guys are very smart and very funny and very passionate about magic. And I think all three of those boop, are important factors. Those messages that you hear are them... Uh, saying that they enjoyed this doing the show so that's great um and and in the skype chat they're gging each other wow this is just an all-out love fest <laughs> um thank you all so much for watching um the chat is asking if there is video of the previous episode yes uh this is only episode two but the first episode is on my youtube channel uh so you can find it there and this will be going up on the YouTube channel probably tonight, maybe tomorrow. Depends how long it takes to process and stuff. And then, again, it's the same as last time. If the response is is high enough, I will do another episode. I have a bunch of questions written up. 
I know everybody in Magic, so I can have guests uh, come on. It's just a matter of whether it is worth all of our time. So if you guys enjoy it, let me know by uh, you tweet, uh, follow the stream, uh, like the video on YouTube when it goes up, comment on Numat Gaming, uh, tweet at me and Kenji. Do do things to let us know that it's worth our time uh, to to do more of these. Because again, like I said, I love doing them. I just need to know that. You guys give a shit. <laughs> so I have no timetable on the third episode. It'll probably come after the Pro Tour because I have a lot of stuff lined up in and around uh, that and then the Hall of Fame stuff and the World stuff. So it probably won't be for a while, but I, I do want a third episode to happen. Um, I just need to make sure that the numbers are good enough. Um, you know, last time we had like 300 people watching and 1,000 views on the YouTube channel uh, within a couple days. This time we only had 150 people watching, uh, so we'll see how it does on YouTube, but, uh, but yeah, I would, uh, I would love to do it again. Plus, if we get one more episode in, then we can have the Champion of Champions with Frank, Sam, and X. <gasps> how cool would that be? 